Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React.js. Today we are going to learn about the signup using the Firebase and React.js. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So first of all, we have a Firebase account first. Okay, so this credentials always required to set up the Firebase. And the another thing that you have to do is you have to go to the project settings. Okay, here authentication. You have to enable the authentication that is sign in methods to be email and the password and the phone number. How you enable this one? Go to the add new provider. Here you need to enable that provider. Whether you want to enable the Google, Facebook, Microsoft, Twitter, Yahoo, you can enable from this one. Okay. And the credentials where you get it from, you go to the project, project settings, and this Firebase credentials, you need to put it into your Firebase.js file. Okay. So this is required. Next, we will try to log in. So any email and uh, mention developer 1993 at the gmail.com. Okay. And here I will add my password. And the password here. Okay. Then sign up. And let's see account is created or not over here so let's go and check the authentication with users and here you can see that my email is registered over here 28th march okay you can see that and here you can see that i have logged in okay so if i go to i i can assess the tabs right now like home okay here you can see that my name and this is only for the sign in accessible by the sign in users, right? So nobody can assess over and here I can sign out with the same function. Okay. And here I can sign in again with my email. So let me log in with the email. Machanto developer 1993 at gmail.com and the same password I will add. Okay. Sign in. Now you can see that I have registered the login page. Okay. So in this video, we are going to learn about the sign up process. Okay. So go to the sign up process over here, sign up. So this is sign up part, right? So let's check out the UI perspective. Let's check out how to send the data to the sign in with the phone number in the Firebase, all of the process in this video. Okay. So let's have a go to the code level. So first thing. I will explain you the structure. So we have the source file. Okay. Then we have a components. Then we have a constants. Then the Firebase. Okay. So first create a, a folder Firebase and add these files. Okay. So first one, the first one is the Firebase.js file. Okay. So we here we require the Firebase app, Firebase auth, and the Firebase database. This configuration you get it from the Firebase. Okay. And here we have the DB because we are using the DB for the rest of the process. This is Firebase auth. Facebook provider I'm not using right now. So you can remove this one from here also. So this is not required. Okay. Okay. This is done. Firebase. Then we have a DB.js where we are going to create the users into the DB. Okay. So here you can see that we have the users part, right? So here we have the user sections. Okay. Right. So this is users part, right? Next, we have odd.js where we are doing the like, uh, you no know, e e login with email and the password reset, sign out all of the functions over here. Facebook provider we don't require. So we can remove this one. Okay. Facebook sign in. I'm not using right now for this video. Okay, so this is odd.js file. So in the Firebase auth db Firebase, then we have an index.js file in this Firebase. Okay, so we are exporting, importing the auth db Firebase and export both of the functions. Okay, done. Firebase section done. Okay, then we have a constants, then we have a roots. So here we have a sign up, sign in, landing, home, account, and the password forget. These all are the routes. Okay. Then we have a components. Okay. So here we have the component. We are working on the sign up process. So let's go to and check the sign up. So here we have the sign up. Let me scroll down. This is the sign up. Okay. So let's study the sign up process. So here we have the react from the react. 
link with router from the react router dom react strap i am using you can use the bootstrap for creating the ui part okay then we have a auth and the db here we have a sign up which we have sign up form so sign up is is in center you can see that here sign up process right so here we have sign up if i go and change here it was uh, like uh, registration you can see that registration right registration form you can write it over here or whatever form you can write so you can see that this is the component functional component that we are using and here we have a sign up form so let's check the sign up form component so here by default the state initial set initial initial state you can see that initial state is by default username all of the things are empty right so moving to the next sign up form now on submit what the function is going to be trigger right so first of all we are checking with the state username email and the password is the value on the state or not then we are checking the history auth dot do create with the email and the password here you will accepting the email and the password what this function is the doing this is accepting the email and the password and this is auth dot create user with email and the password this is the firebase function create user with the email and the password you can see that it's firebase okay so go to the sign up again then if it is authentication uh, then we are passing the auth and db dot do create user so we are creating that user okay uid username and the email okay and then we are setting the initial state of that one with the username password and the email okay then we are redirecting to the home page otherwise we are throwing the error okay done next we have a timer like showing alert that uh, this set alert to be true and timeout will be false okay then we have a render function that is important where we have added the full fledged sign up form okay so here you can see that the we have form full name right and here you can see that on change we are setting the this on change function we are setting the prop by prop key you can see that prop key where we are setting all the values okay so on change whatever we are changing it will restore it will add it will store all the values with the specific username password email and all things okay so we have the email we have the password we have the confirm password then we have a button that is called sign up okay if it is invalid then until it is disabled uh, invalid what is checking password and the password to should be not e not equal to then it will show password one if empty email is empty and the user is name is empty if it is then it is disabled by default okay if it is all the data is filled then it will enabled okay so what anything we have missed so we have alert color danger so is is there any issue in the showing alert part okay so it will throw the error like something uh, email is not correct email is not putting up you can see that here if i go and try password should be same so here i can okay you can see that email is not correct right near okay so let's have a look you can see that it's not going to because email is incorrect right so this is the things that we are doing so after all filling the data right so it will show you the registration in the user section okay so here we have the full fledge and here we have the link right uh constant sign up if you want that adding the link you can also add the link over here and this is the export with the router sign up page and the sign up link so i have shown you the full code source code how to create a sign up form the sign up form is done right firebase we have done route section we have done okay and anything we have me, uh, missed the main index.js file so this is we have imported bootstrap react dom components app so here we have all the components in the app we have exported over here okay so anything we have left i think no okay so this is the how to create user using the firebase in react.js 
any doubt any query in that let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day don't forget to like share and comment on my video have a nice day